This is a story of one man's struggle to start from the beginning and build himself all the way back up mentally, physically, emotionally. This is the story of Scotty B. Prom on his way to the road of the Myth Stir. Oh! I can't say that. Um, I started to do triceps. Um, I started to do triceps, and um, I went to pick up. Uh, went to pick up my bucket, and I had a little, little sharp pain here, right in my shoulder. I just finished training chest, so I know it probably wasn't uh, had anything to do with my chest workout because of the way I do push-ups. Um, so. This is what you need to do when you have a little pain, okay? Now, the biggest mistake you can do is to ignore it, okay? Don't just like, hey, fuck that, let's keep going. You know, stop what you're doing and take a breath and actually figure out what's going on with that, that, um, uh, that muscle or, or something that, that, you, you, that is tweaked a little bit. So before I did anything more, I turned the camera on and let's see um, where we're at here. <laughs> You'll catch me in the moment analyzing this. So straight on my side, side lateral head. So if I move it to the side, up from the side, I mean. Okay. It's a tightness, but it's not a sharp pain. If I move it quickly, forward, back, okay. Maybe it was just a knot. Okay, so we're gonna do a set, and, uh, and if we feel a sharp pain again, we're gonna immediately stop what the fuck we're doing, okay? And we're gonna, uh, yeah, we'll, We'll continue with the other side, this other tricep, but this one we'll just avoid. And then we'll take, uh, um, we'll see how it feels tomorrow, is what I'm saying. Basically what I'm saying is it's not always best to push through these injuries. It doesn't mean you're a fucking wussy, okay? Because if you get fucking injured or you get a micro tear that gets worse and worse and worse, it's going to eventually hurt you in the long run. So what? You miss one fucking workout, you know? If you're thinking long term, one workout is fucking uh, a drop in the uh, what's that fucking saying? Uh, it means nothing. It means nothing. You know. So let's uh, do the set and, and see uh, where we're at here. These pails are getting pretty goddamn heavy now. These things are like almost full now, so. Okay, no pain. We're good to go. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Very important. You feel that something's wrong, stop what you're doing fucking immediately. Okay? Like I said, if that if I still felt the tweak in that or something, I would have put the weight down immediately and then not done anything with this. Maybe just stretched it out a bit and then, you know. Look at it tomorrow and, and uh, see, where, see where we're at. Uh, I don't want to say. I think so. I think that's it. Uh, okay. I'm 
finish my last mother arm. Um, yeah, so most likely what it was, and I see it's still there a little bit. You know what it might be? Uh, work today, um, so my diet's been kind of fucked up. I haven't been taking in as much water as I normally do today. So maybe it's a little, little, uh, um, uh, knotted, you know, maybe that's what it is, so. But it's in the relaxed position, not when I was training, so. And the other thing was, I didn't stretch before I did anything either. Normally I stretch my shoulders out, stretch my back, stretch my, uh, um, my lats, usually when I'm doing uh, chest, you know. But uh, yeah, I'll do this last set. I know, I might mumbling a little bit. <laughs> it's a long day. I gotta wear these sweaters because if I don't, the back of the pail will fucking tear my back up as I lift it. And also, if I don't wear the sweater, it sticks to my back because of the sweat from the plastic. Yeah, so remember guys, don't ignore those pains because it can cost you in the long run. Till I see you again, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. God bless yourself.